Franche Comte. Franche Comte is a cultural and historical region of eastern France. It is composed of the modern departments of Du, Jura, Haute-Saône, and the Territoire de Belfort. In 2016, its population was 1,180,397. From 1956 to 2015, the Franche Comte was a French administrative region. Since January 1, 2016, it is part of the new region Bourgogne Franche Comte. The region is named after the, definitively separated from the region of Burgundy proper in the 15th century. In 2016, these two halves of the historic kingdom of Burgundy were reunited, as the region of Bourgogne Franche Comte. It is also the sixth biggest region in France. The name Franche Comte is feminine because the word Comte in the past was generally feminine, although today it is masculine. The principal cities are the capital Besançon, Belfort, and Montbéliard. Other important cities are Dole, Vesol, Arbois, and lons le -Sangier. The region has been inhabited since the Paleolithic Age and was occupied by the Gauls. Little touched by the Germanic migrations, it was part of the territory of the Alemanni in the 5th century, then the Kingdom of Burgundy from 457 to 534. It was Christianized through the influence of St. Columbanus, who founded several monasteries there. In 534, it became part of the Frankish Kingdom. In 561 it was included in the Merovingian kingdom of Burgundy under Guntram, the third son of Clotaire I. In 613, Clotaire II reunited the Frankish kingdom under his rule, and the region remained a part of the kingdom of Burgundy under the later Merovingians and Carolingians. The name did not appear officially until 1366. It had been a territory of the county of Burgundy from 888, the province becoming subject to the Holy Roman Empire in 1034. It was definitively separated from the neighboring Duchy of Burgundy upon the latter's incorporation into the Kingdom of France in 1477. That year at the Battle of Nancy during the Burgundian Wars, the last Duke, Charles the Bold, was killed in battle. Although the county, along with the Duchy, was seized by King Louis XI of France, in 1492 his son Charles VIII ceded it to Philip of Austria, the grandson and heir of Charles the Bold. When Philip's son, Emperor Charles V, inherited the Spanish throne in 1516, the Franche Comte, along with the rest of the Burgundian lands, passed to the Spanish. The Franche Comte was captured by France in 1668, but returned to Spain under the Treaty of Aix-la-Chapelle. It was conquered a second time in 1674, and finally was ceded to France in the Treaty of Nijmegen. Enclaves such as Montbéliard remained outside French control. The Franche Comte was one of the last parts of France to have serfdom. In 1784, half of the population consisted of serfs, accounting for 400,000 out of the 1 million French serfs. Landowners took one twelfth of the sales price if a serf wanted to sell up. Serfs were not forced to stay on the land, but the lord could claim droit de suite, whereby a peasant who died away from his holding left it to the lord, even if he had heirs. A runaway serf's land was forfeit after 10 years. Louis XVI issued a decree banning these practices on August 8, 1779 but the Parlement of Besançon blocked this until 1787. The population of the region fell by a fifth from 1851 to 1946, reflecting low French natural growth and migration to more urbanized parts of the country. Most of the decline occurred in Haute-Saône and Jura, which remain among the country's more agriculture-dependent areas. This region borders Switzerland and shares much of its architecture, cuisine, and culture with its neighbor. Between the Vosges range of mountains to the north and the Jura range to the south, the landscape consists of rolling cultivated fields, dense pine forest, and rampart-like mountains. Not so majestic as the Alps, the Jura mountains are more accessible and are France's first cross-country skiing area. It is also a superb place to hike, and there are some fine nature trails on the more gentle slopes. The Dew and Lou valleys, with their timbered houses perched on stilts in the river, and the high valley of Aisne, are popular visitor areas. The is a land of gorges and waterfalls dotted with tiny villages, each with a domed belfry decorated with mosaic of tiles or slates or beaten from metal. The lakes are perfect for swimming in the warmer months. The summits of Haute Jura have wonderful views across and toward the Alps. 40% of the region's GDP is dependent on manufacturing activities, and most of its production is exported. Construction of automobiles and their parts is one of the most buoyant industries there. Forestry exploitation is steadily growing and 38% of the agriculture is dairy and 17% cattle farming. The region has a large and lucrative cheese-making industry, 
with 40 million tons of cheese produced here each year, much of which is made by Fruitier. For instance, Comte cheese comes from this region. Among the regional languages of France, the term Franc Comtois refers to two dialects of two different languages. Franc Comtois is the name of the dialect of Languedoc spoken by people in the northern part of the region. The dialect of Arpatan has been spoken in its southern part since as early as the 13th century. Both are recognized as languages of France. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.